Hi everybody, happy Tech Tip Tuesday. Welcome to the Lexus Virtual Classroom. I have such a cool feature to show you today. I have been waiting and waiting for this vehicle to come into our dealership. This is an optional feature on the new 2021 LS, and rumor has it that we might start seeing this feature on more of our Lexus vehicles. So I'm very excited that it's finally here at Lexus. The digital rear view mirror. Let's check it out. Two of my favorite benefits of using the digital rear view mirror are number one, the ability to see what's behind your Lexus before you even shift into reverse. And number two, there's not the potential of having an obstructed view from rear cabin passengers. Let's talk about what it means to have a digital rear view mirror. Right now, we're seeing a traditional view. We can see the tops of the back seats and then we can see out through the back window. But take a look at what happens once we start the vehicle. If the camera is turned on and the digital rear view mirror mode has been selected, you're going to have that full screen view of whatever is behind your Lexus. When you have your rear view mirror in digital mode, you'll be able to operate the functions with the buttons that are predominantly on the right hand side. The buttons you see on the left hand side are for your home link. To switch from digital view, you'll notice we have the view or camera icon on the top right corner. That's just a reminder as if this big giant view wasn't enough. You are viewing from the camera mounted at the rear of the vehicle. Use the toggle to change to optical or the traditional view. Notice that when you do change from one mode to another, you'll have different items that pop up on the screen. It is not a touch screen because we don't want to have fingerprints to interfere with our view, home link, and settings or your main menu. All you have to do is push the button and then you can push repeatedly to change from one function to the next. We always move to the right. There's not a go back to the left function. Once you are highlighting the item that you want to adjust, then use these arrow buttons. Let's take a look at each function. You can adjust the brightness. You can make it more dim or brighten up the display. Come back to your selection button and you'll move to the next item. This allows you to adjust what is in view on the screen, either up or down. Come back to your selector, moving again, then use these arrow buttons. You can now move to the right or to the left. You can tilt. You can also zoom in and zoom out. Coming to this next item, this is an auto anti-glare feature. It's that auto dimming mode. Notice that you can turn it off or on in the digital mode. You can also turn it off or on in the optical mode. If your menu fades out and you're in optical mode, just push that menu button. Coming back to our digital mode, just an easy toggle. Back to our settings. Home link setup. How cool is this? You can set up your home link with instructions right on your mirror. So wherever you see the word that is your action word, just push the button underneath. So now it's going to tell you to press a home link button and then you'll follow the steps for programming. Now, because this unfortunately is not my LS, I am not going to be able to pair a remote to this vehicle, but you get the idea and it will take you through step by step. If you'd like to exit, push the button under exit pushing to come back to our menu, 
And you have an option to select three languages for your display, English, Spanish, and French. If you do choose to change the language, you're going to push for the check mark. It's going to ask, are you sure? Just click in the affirmative. Now our display language has been changed. So if we come to an item like setting up our home link, you'll notice now the instructions are in the language that you selected. You can press to exit, come back to the language setup, choose the language of your preference, push the button under the check mark, and then affirmative to say yes to whatever language it is that you have chosen, English, Spanish, or French. Pressing again, and we loop right back around. Nice and simple, it only moves to the right, so if you need to get back over here, just keep clicking until you land where you want. Let's get some quick safety information out of the way. Make sure that you're not operating the controls for the settings of your digital rear view mirror while you're driving. If you need to make adjustments to the settings, please pull over to a safe spot. Because there are digital components and you have an entire monitoring screen, it is common for this to feel warm to the touch. So now that we know how the digital rear view mirror settings operate, let's talk about logistics of day-to-day -day use and some best practices when you set up your digital rear view mirror and your optical view. I recommend that you first set up the optical view because this is a very substantial housing and adjusting this, if you were to try to adjust this while you're driving, might feel awkward and we don't want you to do anything that's not safe. So go ahead and get your rear view mirror in the position that you want for the optical or traditional view. So you can see the hinge mechanism behind the rear view mirror. That's just because with that optical view, we don't have the ability to move a camera view around. So we physically need to tilt and adjust the mirror. When you are doing a manual adjustment, I like to use two hands and just hold the housing so you can try to avoid getting fingerprints on the mirror. Then turn on the digital view. Then make your digital view customizations for position. Now you can tilt up or down and move left or right just so that you have it where you want it. And then maybe you need to drive a little bit to test it out. Let's do that. Let's buckle up. And when we shift into reverse, you'll see the rear view camera here. And we have that 360 degree monitor on this vehicle. So we have full view and now our incredible digital rear view mirror. Let's see what it looks like while we're driving. This is my first time to use this feature, so I'm so excited to take it for a whirl. All right, so I want you to notice how close this looks like we are in the digital rear view mirror, as opposed to what's going on with our backup camera view. So this is gonna take some getting used to. I'm just gonna say that right now. Let's see, and we're as zoomed out as we can be. This is something we'll have to get accustomed to. If you're not comfortable with that, go back to your optical view. And I noticed that I need to make an adjustment. Once you've made the adjustments in optical view and digital view, you'll easily be able to toggle back and forth and have a clear view behind your Lexus. So take a look at that and see if maybe that setting is better for us. 
Keep in mind, you wanna make sure that your parking sensors are turned on, your rear cross traffic alert is turned on. It's gonna be really important to use all of those safety features just to give you as much information as possible. Keep in mind that safety tip, if you need to make adjustments, come to a safe and complete stop and then go ahead and make the adjustments to your display. We gotta keep our eyes on the road, even though this is so cool. So notice that it is a mirror image, so we have backwards writing and things like that. Lots of cool things to get used to. All right, out on the road with our digital rear view mirror. We're just going for a quick drive. All right, we are going to trigger our rear cross traffic alert. In reverse, we have our backup camera. We have our view from our digital monitor and on the backup camera, that's where you're going to see your driving support information. So if you have challenges with glare, make sure that your auto adjust for anti-glare is turned on. You can come to a stop, push your selection button, come to auto adjust for anti-glare, make sure it's on. You can also experiment with opening or closing the shade for your moonroof or panoramic roof. You can also close the sunshade at the rear of the vehicle. The auto dimming or anti-glare feature is also very beneficial when driving at night. Extra special thank you to my friends at work, Orlando and Abraham, for getting us this awesome nighttime footage. Taking a look at the camera setup at the rear of the vehicle, you'll see the backup camera that we're accustomed to having. Moving over to the other side, this is the camera that operates the digital rear view mirror camera view. You also have a spray nozzle. The opening actually sprays to the left. Then there's an additional sprayer on the right hand side spraying down to clean this lens. Let me show you what that looks like. We're going to push the wiper stock forward. You'll see the spray and you'll see the washer fluid move across the lens. That looks pretty awesome. After you've sprayed the lens, if it doesn't quite clear or it fogs over because of the temperature in your area, go ahead and give it another spray. and then it should be crisp and clean. If spraying to clean the camera lenses is not enough to clear the dirt or dust, you'll want to use plain water and a soft cloth to clean the lens. Just as a heads up, when you spray this while you're driving, it's going to help whisk that washer fluid out of the way. But if you're playing with all the buttons, bells and whistles on your new LS and you're doing this just for kicks because Let's face it, it's really awesome. Just know that you're gonna wanna have a rag with you because it is going to leave droplets along the rear of the vehicle. To clean the mirror surface, you want to use a dry, lint-free, soft cloth like a computer screen cleaning cloth. If you've accidentally left a fingerprint that a dry cloth won't remove, go ahead and dampen the cloth slightly with just water and then apply that to the surface of the mirror. Don't spray the mirror, just dampen the cloth. So keep in mind right now, only on the 2021 LS and an option. So if you know you want this feature, make sure to be in contact with your Lexus dealership and speak with your sales associate and make sure that you take a look at that window sticker, that Monroney or a V-Spec so that you know you have the digital rear view mirror option.
If you don't have a digital rear view mirror on your Lexus yet, don't worry, neither do I. But someday soon we'll get one. If you have a question about your Lexus, don't forget to leave a comment below and then subscribe and click on the bell so that you can be notified the next time we release a tech tip video. We're so glad to have you visit with us today at the Lexus Virtual Classroom. Thanks for dropping by and we'll see you next time. Simply push away. You'll hear it spray. That's our rhyme just for today. Don't hate me. So it's nice and simple. It only moves to the right. Woo, did you see that? <laughs> that was really fast.